Good day, McVeigh, and happy Friday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list. Okay, October, here we go. Happy birthday today to Melanie Ruiz in our third grade, Emmanuel Gomez in our first grade. Tomorrow, happy birthday to Hannah Gross in our third grade and Shanglin Kai in our fifth grade. And then on Sunday, happy birthday to Matthew Warjono in our fifth grade. Okay, friends, today the lunch is pizza. We have the chicken Caesar salad. We also have grilled cheese and bagel lunch. All right. So now we've been thinking about uh, this thing. And we have a shout out to Miss Haggerty's class. They said this is a paint cap. It is. This is a cap for paint. So the way that would work is uh, the you take the regular cover off the paint, you put this one on, and you'd tighten it. Okay. And it's wonderful because you can dip the brush in, you can wipe it, and what happens to the extra paint? It goes down through the spout. That's why it's a funnel cap. This is actually a funnel. And this is used especially for paint. That's how it works. Then you cover it, snap it closed, and this stays on top of the paint so the paint doesn't dry up. This is a funnel cap. And like I said, it's made for painting. That's wonderful. Now, which do you think came first? Something like this as a funnel or something like this? Or was it a funnel like this? How did it happen that we or somebody invented a funnel? What would you use this funnel for? It's the same idea. Wide mouth, small spout. Wide mouth, mouth is the top, the opening. The bottom is the spout, small. Same thing, it's wide at the top, small hole at the bottom. So this one doesn't have a downspout, meaning that little piece, because I made it myself. But why is that? Hmm, what would you use this for? And why would it be made like this? Why would this funnel look the way it does? What would I use this for? And I do use this. I use this funnel. I told you I bring one in from home. This is one that I use at home when I have to do something in particular. What would you use this for? And this is how science works. We have a problem and we figure out a solution to it. I need to do something. Hmm, if I do it this way, it'll make a mess. Hmm, if I do it that way, it'll make a mess. Hmm, what could I do to make sure that I don't make a mess? Think about this cap. How did this happen? Hmm, here's what happens. All the time, if I leave the jug of paint open and I use the brush and wipe it on the sides, a couple of things happen. The paint uh, drips down the side of the bottle. The paint is open completely open to the air the whole time. So it hardens more quickly. Here, only a small amount gets the, a little uh, less air gets inside. In this case, again, when I wipe the paint off, it drips right into the bottle. So there's a reason why things are made the way that they are. Here's an interesting question. I know fourth grade, 
You're working on uh, this soon. There's something called a pipe cleaner. What is a pipe cleaner and why is it called a pipe cleaner? What would you use a pipe cleaner for? Why is it called a pipe cleaner? These are the things that we should be thinking about because we are all scientists. We are all going to try to solve problems, use the things around us to solve a problem. And if the thing that we create is really good, maybe somebody else might want to use it. Then maybe we go on Shark Tank someday. That's how it works. So again, let's get back to this. What would I use this for that I could not use this or this for? Even though all of them can be a funnel. Let's see. All right, now for our Get Smart Show today, we have a wonderful project by Andrew Toledo from Room 120, the Cementicist class, and he did a project on megalodons. I love megalodons. Those are super huge, huge uh, prehistoric sharks. Prehistoric means that they are super duper old. Prehistoric, pre means before, historic means history. So these go way, way back. This is like in the time of the dinosaurs. We call the dinosaurs prehistoric also. Before somebody was keeping a written history. Before somebody was doing that. Prehistoric, prehistory. There was a megalodon. Huge, ginormous shark. And uh, Andrew told us the word megalodon means giant tooth. Guess what a megalodon had? Giant teeth. That's right. If you said giant teeth, you're right. And what he also did is he drew a picture of a school bus. Good work, Andrew. Um, the school bus, if you notice, has something underneath it. That is not the road. That is a megalodon. And what he's showing us there is that a megalodon was larger than a school bus. So all of you who take the school bus home or have seen one uh, when you're out and about, a megalodon was that large. How do we know that there was such a thing as a megalodon? Well, we found, like we were saying the other day with the lava, you um, dig into lava, you can, might find things that were there before. Well, we found the bones of megalodons that existed long, 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 prehistorically, long, long time ago. So uh, well done, Andrew, and I love your illustrations. All right. Now we're going to get to our um, mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. So uh, our mighty kind moment of the day uh, is actually going to be a shout out to somebody that you know, Mr. S. Uh, so uh, Mr. S has been really helping us a lot with uh, getting some things done uh, at McVeigh, cleaning out some spaces that whew, we really needed some cleaning uh, so that we can put some of the things in our gym somewhere else. And, uh, you know, he's been doing that on all of his free time. Um, so we really appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. S. It's super mighty kind to give up your time to help us so much. And, uh, yeah, and getting your hands all dirty and carrying things all over the place. So uh, super duper mighty kind. So you see Mr. S, make sure you say thanks. Why? Because we're mighty minds. Not only that, mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.